All right, what's up everybody? Another day, another property tour. If you guys are just tuning in for the first time, I'm Chuck, it's Crusoe with Simply Vegas, your Las Vegas realtor, bringing you another property tour. So today we are here on the west side of the Las Vegas Valley in the mass plan community called Summerlin. And we are in Red Rock Country Club. So today we are gonna to be touring this beautiful home and the asking price on this is $1,789,000. I'm going to just show you this community real quick here. As you can see, beautiful community. Now this is a country club, golf course community. Now this home right here has been completely renovated. Now this is a Spanish colonial style home. This property features 30, actually 3,579 square feet, four bedrooms, a den. Home was built in 2003. Exterior has been uh, completely painted. All the landscaping, synthetic grass. This thing, you gotta see it. I can't wait to get inside to show you this. They did a real good job of rehabbing this property. Now what you'll notice that um, some of the videos, past videos, you'll see the exact same floor plan. This is one of the uh, desirable floor plans coming into the courtyard. You got the concrete stucco, sprayed on stucco. So in the courtyard, they added tile. Back here, the single car garage for the golf cart. It's gonna kinda do a sneak peek, boom. Now there's a two car garage that you have access through the house. Now what I like about this, this is your main door here, right off to the right. This is a bedroom or could be an office. Now, all the bedrooms will have an ensuite. We also have another door here that access to the kitchen as well, which is really nice, okay? We have vinyl windows. I mean, everything they done here was completely refurbished. All the lights, I mean, all the trim has been painted. They did a really good job. I'm very impressed. Whoever um, did the work on here, you can tell they were highly experienced. Now as we come in, let me just show this to you real quick. Just kind of go around here. There we go. But before we get into it, I'm going to just turn around real quick. We're going to start off here. This is important. So the front door is the original door. They did paint and stain the door. That is a heavy, solid door. Look at that chandelier. Now the color scheme matches throughout the whole house as far as the banisters, the doors, uh, the baseboards. Look at the steps on the other uh, tile here. So we have tile flooring. Give you that wood-like theme. So now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go through here. Let's go through the living room first. Now this living room, as you can see, got about 20 foot ceilings, I believe. Look at those windows, isn't that gorgeous? The interior of the home has been completely painted. You have straight edge on the baseboards, eight inch. You have the, uh, the plaster look for the drywall. Look at that. Now, I have a link in the description below as far as all the information you need and also the address of the property, location, um, school ratings, and things that are nearby. We are probably less than 20 minutes away from the airport in Mandalay Bay. So here's the formal dining. Now, in the formal dining, they definitely did a lot. I mean, take a look at this chandelier they did. And this French doors 
These are the original French doors, but they painted the French doors. Take a look at this feature wall here. Did a really good job on the feature wall. They added the custom cabinet for storage space with the granite and the full frame mirror. Excellent job. All the rocker switches, all modern, all switched out, which is really nice. I do love that. Now let's go here. Let's go back here first. So we have the powder room. Now what I notice about the doors, it looks like they just, these are six panel doors throughout and they're not solid or insulated, okay? But it looks like they painted and they did a really good job even on the uh, casings around the door too. I don't know if you guys can see that. The attention, the detail. I'm telling you, whoever did this work pretty much is really into interior designing and they do flips for a living. I gotta find out who the um, owner of this property is. Look at this, you got the floating vanity and this is the granite and take a look at this vessel sink. Man, this is a, I ain't trying to gas you guys up, but you know, I know good quality of work when I see it. Brand new toilet. And again, you got this little feature wall and it's textured really well. It's, I don't know if you guys can see that, but it's very smooth too as well. I do like that. All right, let's come back out here. Again, this is the, it looks like the original door has been painted. And they did a really good job. I mean, changed out the hardware on here. And the hinges as well. So we're going to go into the first bedroom. This is also an option, a, a den or a loft, if you would like to call it. Well, that's exactly what it is, you big dummy. So this room right here is this one. Downstairs 14 by 14, so it's a decent size here. We named through a chandelier, four can lighting, which is really nice. Love the fact that there's a thermostat here too as well. On this one, uh, you do have your cable outlets and your phone jack. Now we don't really use phone jacks anymore. And then we have our walk-in closet here. And they add a couple custom shelves, which is really nice. I mean, they didn't have to do that, but they definitely did that, so. So we have some more storage here, okay. We have an eight foot door. I love these eight foot French doors too right here. That really just brings you out to the courtyard. What's nice about this is that you can always shut this door. If your guests or clients come here, they can just come through here, right? Which is really nice. You got the Nest thermostat. Oh, almost forgot to, go, forgot to go in this bathroom. Now look at the uh, transition on the herringbone here. Again, you have your custom cabinets. Uh, let's see if these are thermophiles cabinets. No, these are actually painted in full overlay cabinets. Love that hinge on it or the uh, handle. You got the granite undermounted sink. This looks like possibly the original sink. I'm not too sure. Nice fixtures. Again, you have that nice texture. Look at the texture on that thing. Look at that. That thing's gorgeous. So you got some marble in the shower. I love how they um, cut these out for the uh, soap. Soap and shampoo. You got the mowing fixtures. Okay, let's see what else we got here. Let's go this way. So it looks like we have an air filter here. So on this side, they did some nice little feature wall with some built-ins here, which is kind of cool. We're gonna come into the family room. 
Love the fact that the family room has a door, the access to the outside. You have all the windows. We got 10 foot ceilings here. Nice. Very unique on this wall. So this looks like granite. I believe originally a fireplace was here. That's the only time you would build this is a fireplace. So the first thing I would ask to check if there was a fireplace here. And obviously they capped that off. So that's what I would ask. Okay. But again, you guys probably wouldn't know that unless you guys do a lot of these tours and you buy and sell a lot of homes. So just make sure to ask. Now you have your built in here. Looks like there were some cabinets here on the original build, but it looks like they just did the built in refrigerator here. I think I would have probably added another cabinet here or possibly cabinet all the way up here too as well. Let me know in the comments below if that's something that you would do. Love the appendant lighting. So it looks like they ripped out the island, added this quartz island here with the uh, two inch waterfall with the bright white. I wonder if they got cabinets on the other side. Okay, no, but they do have the sleeves that were painted gray. Okay. Which is really nice to match the kitchen here. You got the uh, gray cabinets, soft closing, full overlays with the undermounts. And these are the metal cabinets. These are actually really good. Now you see it's kind of loose. When it gets more heavy, when you start adding stuff, it should glide even better. Again, you got the two inch quartz countertops and then you got the marble. These are the, um, what, 24 by 48s on here. Then you have this nice, beautiful backsplash. The range, the hood here, it looks like the original. What they did was paint this. So they left that, okay. Love this grill here. Look at this. This is a chef's dream. You got the six burner. Nice. You got the 42 upper cabinets and plus that looks like a 36 inch cabinet up there. So it's double stack, which is really nice. Let's see what these uh, cabinets look like. Oh, you know what? These are thermofoil cabinets. Okay. They're not painted. Wow, I've never seen a dishwasher like this with the uh, window here. That's kind of cool. You got the undermounted sink, stainless steel. The window here on this one are aluminum windows. So this looks like the original. But the other ones were vinyl. I wonder if they changed those ones out. I'm gonna have to take a look. So we got your convection microwave here. Wow. Appliances are going to be included in the sale of this transaction. Let's take a look at this refrigerator. Nice. Now we have a little nook right here. This is where you uh, kind of have your breakfast. Beautiful chandelier. Take a look at the uh, pop-outs up there. Not the pop-outs, but those little windows or holes right there as you walk around upstairs. I'll show you what I'm talking about. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. All right, off to the left. Again, we have the original doors painted. Did a really good job on here. This is uh, your pantry. Pantry is not that huge. Okay. 
Now here's our two car garage. Now remember, it's a total of three, but also take a look. You have about three, open this up a little bit. You got about three feet of space here and on this side. The Maserati Cuatro Porte. You know what? Let me know in the comments below if you guys like this car versus that um, BMW that I have, the 750, the M package. Let me know if this should be my next car. Let me know in the comments below. This right here is the service door that takes you out to the back. This looks like the uh, original. Let's see if this is the original. This is probably 70 gallon on this one. 75 gallon. Mm, this is a 2016 on this one. So this looks like they replaced it once. Is this storage? Let's take a look. Yeah, so we got some extra storage here and they also epoxy the floor. Let's go ahead and uh, shut this. Now here's the door that takes you back out to the courtyard. Okay. Now, I'll show you guys the backyard last. Let's go upstairs. I mean, take a look at the flooring. I mean, love the flooring transition. Now it goes into tile. Now this one doesn't have a hangover on the lip here. I believe, according to Cole, I could be wrong, that you have to have like a one inch lip, so that way you don't slip. So as we come up, you can go to the other bedrooms, the other two, or we're gonna go to the master, here. But let's go to the other bedrooms in the laundry room. But this is that window I was talking about, look at this. You just look through it, boom. Isn't that cool? And I'm out of breath. Oh my gosh. Here's the laundry room. Washer and dryer are included. You got the front load, LG. I believe this is programmable to your phone. Wow, look at that. Gorgeous. Let me unzip real quick. It's getting a little hot. We're going to go into this bedroom. Now this room is 12 by 15, so it's a pretty decent size bedroom here. You got nine foot ceilings, eight foot doors. Now on the flooring here, take a look at the flooring. You got the marble flooring, 48 by 12 inches. You know, it does kind of look like a porcelain tile gloss. It's kind of hard to tell. I mean, they do a pretty good job now with these uh, new porcelain tiles. Let's take a look at the, uh, the bathroom here. Man, I love that. Towel with the frame mirror. Again, same flooring on the wall here. And I love how they do like these little soap and uh, shampoo I mean, they didn't have to do this. This is the original tub right here. Let's see if this is a cast iron or plastic. Looks like plastic tub. The only thing about this plastic tub, um, keep in mind, every time you use uh, something that's very rough to like scrub the dirt and the grime off the bottom here, you're taking off that enamel. And every time you take off that enamel, you're starting to etch it. And what happens is you tend to make it a lot worse. So the next time, you jump in there, it gets all dirty, right? It goes into those little cracks and crevices, which makes it very hard to clean. Then you're gonna go back and start scrubbing it again, and you're rubbing more enamel off. 
So this is the uh, third bedroom. So this bedroom is going to be bigger. And this one's 16 by 14. So it's a real decent size on here. Now on this one, you do have a Nest thermostat here. Okay. Here's your walk-in closet. Again, we have the uh, 24 by 48 on the, uh, the tile. Got some custom cabinets that was added. This one right here is very unique because this one actually has a balcony. This one faces the front of the home. We are facing west at this time. Well, it's not like it's going to change. So here we are. Now, the homes across on that side, right, that you see there, that is the ridges. Now, at nighttime, what tends to happen is they'll turn on some lights here and it reflects off to the um, the mountain side and it's very beautiful I mean take a look at this all oh, that driveway is cracked right there but that could definitely be easily fixed this is the original French doors they just changed out all the hinges and door handles but painted the door did a really good job on that. Let me shut the door here. Here we go. Now, coming into the bathroom. Look at that uh, tile there. Seems a lot of people are using this style of tile now. The only thing I'd be afraid of if uh, the trends starts to change, then you could be running into trouble. On this one, uh, when they came back and added the cabinets here, they raised this up to the uh, 36 inch. I love how they tiled this all up. Kind of really give you that spa look, you know. Now this is a half inch glass. Now on this one they added a bench, which is great. Again, you got the Moen appliances. Okay. Now let's go out. Let's go take a look at the backyard. Let's take a look at the, oh no, we gotta look at the master. Well, this video is pretty long. Uh, we are into it now for about like 22 minutes. Okay, so master separate from others. So you gotta come down uh, two steps. You hit a landing, come back up two steps. Here's your master. Look at this transition on this tile here. You come on in, look at this tile work, okay? This right here is actually marble. I could tell for sure. Now, if you come come in, you can go into the master here or the massive bath. I'm gonna show you the massive bath last because it's gorgeous. Look how huge this bedroom is. Huge bedroom. Now, this bedroom is 22 by 17, okay? All new rocker switches painted, all new baseboards, but look at this picture frame window right here that overlooks the strip and the golf course. Then you have your beautiful pool here. I mean, you can see the whole valley. 180 degrees. Now let me bring this back here. On this one right here, I would definitely have to add more can lighting on here because there's only two can lighting right here. Now this one has a balcony off the master. So let's go take a look. They added new railings. And let's take a look at this. Look how gorgeous this is. Now, I love the fact that you see this view fencing here off the golf course. You can actually open up this gate, go down here and hit a couple balls. Nice, right? Let's go take a look at the bathroom. Now, again, if you guys want more information about this property, go ahead and click on the link in the description below. I will also have a link in the comments too as well. If you guys don't have a realtor, we definitely would love the opportunity to earn your business. Now, coming into the bathroom, take a look at this. 
gorgeous, right? Then we have the 12 by 48, I mean a 24 by 48 on the, uh, the tile here. Here we have our water closet. And take a look at this. I love the configuration of this with the waterfall. So you've got the granite undermounted sink. Transition into granite. And I love these two windows. I mean, look at this. They even added the trims on here, which is really nice. That's like attention to detail. And they added a frosted glass here. Now this is not a second glass, basically it's a piece of paper that you can cover up. And they did this, so that way you can bring in light, but also you don't have those uh, little peekaboo guys, or you know, whatever they're called. Well, look at this uh, teardrop-like tub. Now this is very thin, so basically your body would be on this side and your legs would go that way. Wow. They had to re Gut this whole bathroom. Let's take a look at this right here. Shower is a little bit small. I do love that floor though, it's really nice. Oh, you have a window here too, that's cool. Now this one, oh, there's something I want to show you that I thought was very creative. I'm starting to see a lot of designers will move this um, outlet I lost my train of thought. Then move it uh, from vertical to horizon or landscape, whatever you want to call it. Oh, look at this closet. Pretty nice, okay. You get the his and hers. Okay, so this must be his. Let's go down this way. Now let's go to the backyard. Now at 1,789,000, they're asking $500 a square foot. Oh, that's pretty huge, $500 a square foot. I'm, I'm curious to hear if you guys are interested in purchasing a property at $500 a square foot. I wanna know if you guys would pull the trigger. Let's go to the back. I mean, take a look at the back. I mean, they tiled the whole back patio Go this way. They redid this whole pool. Look at that. I mean, even back here, they graveled this. I mean, look at the attention to detail in this. Oh my gosh. Oh, that's a bummer. You have a, a view fencing on this side too. I wouldn't want that. I would definitely cover this thing up. Put some trees there. Definitely would want my privacy. I mean, that could be easily handled though. Looks like they had a bunch of plants along this wall here and they ripped it out. You got the original air conditioning unit. Oh, the pool pump right here looks pretty much brand new oh yeah this pool pump is brand new and it's all programmable and there's also a switch this is like the Ferraris of uh, pool pumps there's also lights in the back here too as well synthetic grass 
Let's see what's down on this side. All right, so this is more like, ah, uh, they're just throwing stuff back here for now. Let's take a look at this on this side. I mean, look at that. And down the middle, you have your jacuzzi. Then you have your, it looks like just kind of a little chill little area here. Six inches where you just soak, you have lights. And you have the bubbles and you got the steps for this little lap pool area here. Love this. Let me know in the comments below what your thoughts are about this property. If you can see yourself living here. Now, if you have not had a chance to subscribe to this channel, go ahead and subscribe. Other than that, thank you so much for tuning in. I'm Chuck, it's Chris Watt with Simply Vegas, and have a blessed day.